G'day everyone. So the project for today is that we're going to be transforming this recurve that's in all black. We're going to try and imitate the 07 Chinese camouflage, which is their multi-terrain pattern. Eventually I'll like to use this bow for hunting, therefore changing the colors on it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cover the black by using the stencils that I've already separated into small, medium, large. We'll be trying to follow the tablecloth, which is the camera pattern underneath. The colors I'll be using for this project is dark brown, light green, and a matte white gray. Some of these colors you'll see later on might be a little bit glossy, but we'll fix that by spraying a matte clear coat over the finished product and that will sort it out. Alright, so let's carry on. Cut back in once I've done the black when we'll be spraying the first color which will be the Alright, so as you guys can see we've now masked the black part that's going to be the black at the end of it. Now we're going to do the green coat. Alright guys, here we go. Everything nice and green. The first layer of paint is on. Next step will be to mask off certain green areas again with the stencils. This time using the bigger ones. As you can see on the pattern beneath, the green is in large patterns. So we'll come back as soon as I have applied the stencils and ready for the brown coat. Alright, here we go. You guys see that uh, the John Deere bow is finished only effective when hunting in maize fields. So we'll be carrying on uh, trying to recreate the 07 pattern. You'll see that faintly you can see where the black's been marked off and now we've covered where the green will be. If you look at the pattern you'll see that the black and the green also are close to each other. The next layer we will be doing is the brown. So there we go. Our Charlie and the Chocolate Factory bow is finished. But seeing that we're not going to be hunting Oompa Loompas, we'll carry on to the next stage covering the brown part and then spraying the last layer which is the light grey before applying the final matte coat. I'll there we go, the light grey is finished now. All that's left is to peel off all the stickers to reveal the last pattern and then we'll spray the clear coat. So let's see, I'll get back to you as soon as it's done. Might take a while. There are a lot of stickers on this project. Well, there we go. The final product. I don't know if you guys can tell, but something very strange happened here. Um, it's got this pinkish hue to it instead of grey. This all happened as soon as I applied the clear coat. It started out grey and then as the clear coat dried, it just became this pink. Guessing it's not a problem, as in the Second World War, some of the Land Rovers and stuff they used in North Africa was painted pink. So it might still work. Too late to fix it now, so we'll just use it as it is. Fix it at a later stage if it becomes a problem. Thanks for watching and join us next time when we'll be installing sites, tuning the bow. I'm getting it ready for shooting.